everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my August 2015 LEGO City update. Really a lot of things have changed in the LEGO City this month. I've been working very hard at the city because I'm, I like the city the way it is, but I just feel it needs to look more city-ish. Starting off over here is the new ball, I call it. As you can see, it says 2015 here, and it has a ball here. And I just want a disclaimer, I was the original person to come up with this, and then the Times Square people ripped me off. I don't know what I think about it in the city. I think it looks pretty cool. It just adds more not-so-flat along the top here. It just adds, you know, so break it up, because I like tall. And if I had my choice, I'd have all these buildings out front here, and then I'd have office towers sky high over here. I do have a neat feature about the ball here because I have designed it. It's a little it's flimsy, but I have designed it so that it can actually drop, which I think is pretty cool. And I just like the fact that it says 2015 and that's something I'll be able to change every year. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I want you to let me know down in the comments below should I keep it. I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of people liked it. And here is the main stretch of buildings here. As you can see, I put my new FAO Schwartz building here, this mini building that I have there, and I just put it all there and I think it looks pretty cool. At the end of my city here, we still have the LEGO City Police Station. I myself am really quite a fan of how all these buildings look. And as you can see along the whole street here, we have many different cars driving around. Over here at the Waterfront Inn and Spa, I changed it up a little. I made the W a bit smaller and then added this sign. The sign looks terrible, I know. I just printed it on actually one of my business cards and cut it up just to put it there to see how it looks. I like the look of it and I do plan on making a more professional looking sign with like blue ink and stuff like that. I changed the top floor a bit here and I added a really neat actual swimming pool area and there's actually a hole in the ground. I also added this penthouse floor. I'm not yet sure on if I like the blue railing color or not but I just wanted to make the building just a bit bigger to look over my city. I did some changes over here by actually adding a new building to the mock. As you can see, this is the new building I've added, this red roof tan building. And you might think, hey, that looks a little familiar. It's actually a repurposed Olivia's house that I bought from my little sister for a nice price. I put it up there, changed it all, ripped it all apart basically, and then just used the pieces. And as you can see, I took out all the pink, except you're like, why is there pink on the bottom floor? I actually made this into like a little friend's clothing store, just using a bunch of the mini dolls I had left over. And next here is just like another Italian, like an Italian restaurant. I have to get the signs printed for these once I choose the name of the building. And then up here I have two apartments and I plan on doing a full mock video on this building. Next to that building here I have the bike shop and cafe building, the Lego sets from of course Lego. And I think they look pretty neat there. I had to add another 32 by 32 base plate there to extend the parkway a little just to get that. And now I've made it to the road, the cars like have to turn off the road. And I'm thinking about making, a, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I was thinking about a bridge here. Just the problem is my park bins are like right underneath here. So if I put a bridge there, I'd lose part of the parts bin, you know what I mean? So I haven't decided there yet. One thing I did change is I put the train station back here and then I made this little platform to get to the train station. As you see, you enter the train station from the park and you go up these stairs, which I tiled and studded just to make it look better. And then you go onto the platform that you walk across the train station. And there at the back, there's two more stairs on a diagonal angle that actually go to the train station. Or if you plan on entering the city from the train or want to park your car, I made the little parking lot right over here. Another thing I did was get rid of one of the blue base plates to put the train station there and added a bunch of those blurt pieces. Big, ugly rock pieces. And you know, I actually had this all standing up. I don't know how it fell over. I think I dropped something, but it has a fence around it and I'm going to fix that now. And there I fixed it. That's what it's supposed to look like. And this is what the opening looks like without that big building there. The NCIS mock hasn't changed and I actually took down the big street sign that was behind the elevated rail. I think, I don't know, is the elevated rail new from the last update? I don't even remember. I took the big one down and then just put the street sign underneath the elevated rail. And I still at some point have to make, print those like police plaza stickers off. I may or may not, who knows. Next to the Grand Emporium here, we still have the LEGO City Bank and of course the LEGO City Hospital. And I did some modifications to that so I can add the LEGO City Brick Hut Pizza Place onto the hospital grounds. Now it looks like a little compound with a, like a nice fountain in the middle and I really like that fountain. As mentioned, over here is my LEGO City Police Station. That didn't change from last week. And beside that is actually the new fire station. And by new fire station, I mean it's the same old fire station just in a new place. 
the elevated train is still here, or it's new here. I, I can't even remember if it was in the last LEGO City update. But it just drives around. It doesn't really do much. I just needed something to break it up a little from, like, you know, the blockiness. Again, to give the city some height, I added this really cool, like, big satellite dish antenna. And I'm really happy with that. That is a full mock. I had to look at some pictures of real antennas on the internet. But what I, what I came up with, I think, was pretty good. Next to it, I actually made a Brick Lover 18 billboard, and I really like this. What I did was I took four of my business cards and put them on these Lego pieces. The pieces are not fully tiled, like on the back, so it's not just taped on. They're full pieces. I built the whole structure, and everything is made of Lego, except I had to tape. I did have to tape the business cards on. Next to this business card holder, this advertisement, I made this other advertisement with a variety of LEGO resellers. As you can see, I have Neon Bricks, Jealous Panda, The Brick People, and Lasting Toys. I got all of these business cards at the latest BrickFet convention. And I will be hoping to switch out these business cards every month, so if you want to put your business card there, it's free. You just got to send me your business card. One thing that I was really experimenting on with the city this month was lighting. I really decided that I wanted my city not to just be like every other buddy's city, just a bunch of Lego pieces on a table, but I wanted to add lighting in every building. The problem is, lighting is expensive, I'm impatient, I didn't want to order it online, pay for it, and then have to wait. So what I did was just use an alternate solution, and that was actually Christmas tree lights that I, my mom had downstairs with all the Christmas tree stuff that she never even used. So that was perfect, I got that hooked up, and now this is what the LEGO City looks like with lights. Looking at the lights right now, they don't look very good in my camera monitor. It looks really bright over there, which is over there, which is really not, and it looks dark in some of these buildings. My lighting in the LEGO City is, right now what I'm looking at in real life is really cool. Like I can perfectly tell the details that are going on in this building here, and I just know in the camera monitor you can't because it's really hard to capture lights on video. Another thing that I did to light up the city was light up the NCIS building, as well as light up the whole skyscraper mock, which I think looks really cool. It definitely looks better than some of the other lighting in my LEGO city. I had to light every floor. Each floor in that building has a Christmas light, and I think that's really cool. I also lit up the LEGO City police station with a third party LEGO light, not the Christmas tree lights. And again, it looks really cool, like impersonal, but I can just tell from the monitor that you're not getting the full justice of the light. They look really cool. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of my lighting the LEGO City. Thanks everybody so much for watching the LEGO City update this month. Lots of work done and there's probably going to be a lot more work done for next month. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite part of the LEGO City and what do you think I should change or do add to the LEGO City. Thank you so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more Brick Lover 18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this Brick Lover 18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.